Okay. So I've, I'm trying to deploy this package here. <coughs> and I'll go ahead and do this. Set it for SQL. Local, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. When we try to deploy it, we get this error here. Uh, and no description found, right? So you get here and you just... It's generic error kind of stuff. There's nothing really special poking out, right? So we've got to troubleshoot this because obviously the package has to be imported, right? So I'll come in here. I've opened up the package here and there's really nothing to it, right? I wonder if I can copy this. Let's see. No, and I shut down Visual Studio when I do. Okay, I can't copy setup to the clipboard. So, okay. Uh, I've come across this kind of error before. Okay, sorry about that, got inter interrupted. Okay, so <clears throat> I can't copy that to the clipboard. Now, I haven't seen this exact error message before, but I've seen similar error messages like this before. So I'm going to go with what fixed it the last time. And I'm going to say command. And usually what happens is something has happened to the registration of the XML uh, DLLs. So we're going to try... I try that. That registered. We'll see if we've got four on here. That registered, and I don't think we'll have six, but I'll try it anyway. And six, there we go. So let's see if that fixed our problem here. Can't copy set up to the clipboard. No, it didn't fix that problem. Let me see if it fixed this problem. <clears throat> I doubt it. Oh, good. Okay, so it fixed that problem anyway, and we may have to restart Visual Studio for this one. Let me see. Restart it, and then see if that fixes that problem. And I'm less concerned about that problem than I am about the uh, getting the package deployed. So let's see here. Let's see, did you fix? Yes, and it fixed that problem. So there you go. And like I said, I had no idea that would fix it, clearly. But I've seen stuff like that usually when you can't get stuff in and out of the clipboard uh here you'll either get a message here that it can't copy it to the clipboard clearly I've never seen that one before or you'll get something like uh, it can't you know SIS can't serialize the runtime object or can't and can't serialize the runtime something like that uh, it'll have serialize and runtime in there sorry I can't remember the exact message right now uh, but uh, um, anyway for stuff like this where you can't copy stuff go ahead and register those DLLs first and I'll show you that one more time here. It's just uh, regserver32 and then the name of the DLL. In this case, msxml3.dll, 4dll, and 6dll. And, uh, and, and, and if you get an error on one of those DLLs because it can't find the DLL, that's fine. Just load the two that you have, right? So it doesn't really matter that you can't get all of them. Um, whatever you have, but these are the, these are the three that, that you should have on there, or that you would have on there, not necessarily should, but these are the three that you have to choose from. Let me put it that way. So go ahead and try to load all three of them, and then, you know, if you get an error on one, that's unimportant. You'll, uh, you know, it, it, it should still work. And you remember I also had to restart Visual Studio to get it to, to get the, the changes to take effect. Um, when I get the serialize error that it can't serialize the runtime, I, I didn't have to restart Visual Studio, but for this one I did. So anyway, uh, there you go. That's how to troubleshoot a package that won't load, or at least that's, that's how to fix this specific problem. How's that? Uh, that's all I got. Take care.